We welcome in Jackets GM Yarmo Kekalainen. And Yarmo, as we sit here today, 28 games into a 56-game regular season schedule, and you evaluate this team on a daily basis, what are the one or two priorities that you keep coming back to right now to help this team down the stretch? Well, I wish I could uh, somehow instill consistency into our play. That would be the number one thing. I think that that's, that's kind of been the story of the year. We've been very inconsistent, unfortunately, and, and we're halfway through the season, so we better start soon uh, putting some wins together and playing consistently well. We need to start getting some good things happening here and putting some wins together and, and, and uh, gaining confidence that way. Yarmo, you can't, uh, obviously, uh, confidence, you can't trade for confidence, but uh, as you look at this lineup day, day in, day out, and you look at the way this team is playing, what's the number one position that you feel like you need to improve right now? Well, there's been a lot of talk about center. We have we have some guys that, that have played center, some guys that are trying to, to learn the center uh, in the National Hockey League. They haven't done it much. Situation might change there a little bit after this season because we are living in this squeezed cap world that the cap's going to stay flat for the next foreseeable future, and that's going to uh, add some challenges to cap squeeze teams. So they may have to uh, to um, um, let some some of their centers go for that reason because they just can't fit them under their salary cap. But time will tell. Yarmo, in a perfect world, a new player joins a new team and everything clicks right away. That hasn't entirely been the case for Patrick Line. But as you look at Line and the team, what do you see as the best path forward for both Line and this team that this is hopefully the beginning of a long-term relationship with Patrick Line? Yeah, it, it's... It's very usual for a player that gets traded to it takes a little while to get used to his surroundings his new teammates find some chemistry with line mates and learn the uh, the, the demand level of the coaching staff and and I think Patrick's done a lot of good things he's willing to learn he he wants to learn he wants to get better he wants to be pushed by our coaching staff so those are great qualities well talking about new acquisition yesterday you make a deal for Miko Lethnan uh, from the Toronto Maple Leaf uh, can you tell us a little bit the fans about the, this player and why you went and got him yeah we uh, we had uh, tried to sign him in the offseason he was uh, named the best defenseman in the KHL uh, I've watched him a lot growing in Finland on the Finnish national team. Our scouting staffs followed him for years now, and, and, and he was sort of a late bloomer and came over here at the age of 27, very dedicated, professional. Veni uh, Vevilainen, uh, he played well for us in Cleveland and even saw a little bit of NHL time here. But right after the KHL season's over, we're going to get Daniil Tarasov here, and then we'll have Kivlenix and Tarasov uh, in Cleveland. And th those are our top young goalie prospects. So it, probably better opportunity for Vaney uh, in Toronto, a trade that can help both teams add, into, uh, uh, add depth into positions that, that may lack it a little bit. All right, Yarmo, as always, we appreciate the time. We know it's going to continue to get busy for you and the front office staff. Best of luck in the second half of this regular season. Thank you.